Welcome everyone. My name is Destructo Dan, and for my very first YouTube upload, I'm going to be doing a let's play of Minecraft with Feed the Beast Revelation. Now I've been playing the vanilla Minecraft a little bit here and there. I really enjoy it. It's very simple, but there's a lot to do. There's a lot to see. Um, and then a buddy of mine about three months ago got me on to be the beast revelation and I really, really enjoy it. So I now have a server. Now, if you want to join the server, I will have a link to my discord in the description of the video. Come in, uh, when you're in the lobby, just let a mod know or me. Um, I go by Destructo Dan on everything. Um, yes, my real name is Dan. Um, but if you want to join on the server and you want to enjoy what there is to play, by all means, please just come on by, let me know, and I'll get you whitelisted. So let's go ahead and start. Now on the server, I have actually already been on there. I've built a little starting area there, a little safe zone at the spawn. And um, I have, of course, the uh, Tinker's Construct uh, forge with tables. I actually have um, a little jukebox over here. So if you find the discs and you want to listen to music, of course you can do it here. Um, there's an enchanting table, a little chemistry bench, just very basic stuff. I didn't want to have too much here so people will focus on being here. I just wanted to have stuff so people can actually come here, um, get their stuff, their initial stuff going, you know, maybe make their own set of tables and stuff and maybe make some stuff for the blocks and whatnot and then be able to go from there. Um, excuse me. So um, one thing that I've liked about this starting area is that, of course, there's plenty of lava. There's plenty of water. This little island over here actually has some resources on it too as well. I've noticed that there's some iron, there's some copper, some jewels, stuff like that over there. So let's go and get some resources. Now, one thing I need to do is find some trees there, but I really don't want to pull from those trees. So let's go ahead and go over here and let's see if we can find some wood so we can actually start getting some tools crafted here. And I apologize for it being so dark. I am an op on the server, but I really don't want to, uh, of course, cheat the day because that to me just defeats the purpose. So one thing that I also like to do too, I personally like to do that I've started to do here uh, with really any Minecraft server I play on, like Performium. I don't think I'll really record on their servers. Um, I know that I've got to apply for it. Uh, in order to, you know, uh, pretty much stream from their their actual um, servers and whatnot. Um, and I may do that, because I do have a couple bases on a few of their servers. Um, and it's been really fun. I enjoy the community. Um, but, you know, I have my servers, and uh, that should be good enough to stream off of, is what I have here. Um, as I mentioned, I have this server. I do have the vanilla. Um, and again, all that information will be linked down below in the uh, the Discord, or the Discord information will be linked there in the description of the video itself. So let's make our way back up here. And let's see here. Okay. Go that way. Um, yeah, I guess I could do that. And really what I should do is just start off by trying to get some stone, some cobblestone. So let's go over here. There's some coal, so we good for some torches. Now one thing that I've really been looking forward to that I hope they'll actually do eventually sometime is... Um, excuse me, release an update to uh, either Sponge or you know something of the sort, because I'd love to run a modded server, a private mod modded server with um, plugins. Um, I don't want to rely all on you know mods, because sometimes for some folks that just gets to be a little much, and plugins are a little bit easier to manage, of course, at least from what I've noticed. Um, if anyone's aware of anything that will run uh, 1.14.4, for a um, for plugins and mods, I know there's you know there's Forge. Forge has their servers, and Spigot has their servers. 
but so far I've not seen anything like Sponge that allows you to run both mods and plugins on the same server. Um, the last one I saw was 1.12.2. And I don't think there's a big, big difference from 1.12.2 to 1.14.4 as far as uh, what's actually available. Um, I mean, if, if you guys are more familiar with the layout and what there actually is, I would actually, actually love to learn more about that and see what the real differences are between... Um, you know, between the two different types. Okay, let's see here. So I usually do this here. And let's go ahead and... Um, oh, crap. <laughs> was not paying attention. Didn't realize where I was at. All right, let's see. Now, one thing that I don't like that I've noticed with uh, this 112.2 build is that when you go underwater and you hit control, it just makes you sink. Um... I've noticed in 114.4 though that when you hit control, uh, you'll actually swim faster. So I'm not sure what that's all about. So let's do this here. Now the main reason why I'm doing this, and I'll show you here of course, is um, I'm trying to get some re resources here put together so I can actually start working on doing the Tinker's Construct. Because of the Tinker's Construct, what's really nice about Tinker's Construct is the fact that uh, once you build your your tools and weapons and armor, uh, it's actually really easy to repair. Now, a thing that I should actually focus on, maybe, um, is actually just getting some paper. I'll show you why. I've learned some cool stuff about Tinker's Construct that, I, that has made me uh, really enjoy it quite a bit, especially with the tools, as I love to mine and build and, you know, go digging everywhere so let's check this out let's see if i can find some paper too well not paper but find some uh sugar canes so i can mix the paper now um one thing when you typically start out with tinker's construct you don't just you can't just make the the bricks the seared bricks out of just anything you have to have clay gravel and sand and then you have to melt those down oh, look Actually, some read right there. When you have those three resources and you use, you put them in a forge, a regular, you know, forge, and you melt them down, it will then create the bricks. Uh, once you have those bricks, then you, of course, just, um, you know, use them to uh, start making the different items. And uh, I will actually go through all those things and get those all set up. But what I need to do first is get some of those. Is there any more anywhere else? What I should actually do is make a boat and then just uh, go around the area here. Ooh. The squid's going on, the llamas, the sheep. Man, there's all kinds of good stuff around here. I should actually also get some, uh, some pelt from the sheep so I can actually make a bed. You know what? I'm not going to worry about that right now. Man, water's so slow. There we go. Alright. And of course, you know, you need to get some food too, so. First things first. If I could just do it and get it done and over with. There we go. Okay. So now what I need to do is come over here. Let's see. So I need to make some stencils. Now, stencils, if I remember correctly. So let's make some sticks. Well, some more sticks. I believe it was like this. Yeah, there we go. So get those going. Come over here. Now, one thing I just noticed is I probably put these tables down wrong because stencil table, art chest. This here. 
see, you're supposed to be able to see. Really? Why can I not? Oh, part chest, tool forge, part builder. Uh, is it a stencil chest? No, it's a pattern. Pattern chest is what I need. Darn it. Okay. So, wait, pattern chest. So then, oh, part chest. Well, that's silly. <laughs> Oops, I made the wrong thing. So let's just go ahead and do this. So the pattern chest, it's a chest with one stencil. Okay, so. Because I know we're gonna need more of the stencils anyways. Let's just go like this. So that and one of those makes pattern chest. Now what I'll do is this. I'm not real big on shovels. I know later on it'll be beneficial. Uh, especially when you're doing trying to do a lot of clearing and everything. Um, I need the pattern chest. So, put you there. Yeah, yeah. I hear you, llama. Now, there we go. Okay. That's what I needed. Now, when you pull and you make them from here, they go over here. And there's that guy. And then the tool rod, right? Yeah. So a shovel and axe. Yeah, I'm really worried about how things are laid out. You'll notice as, as I progress and I get uh, the actual um, gold stencils done uh, and how I put them up on a, a rack, uh, you'll notice I'm very weird about that stuff. But whatever, that's neither here nor there. Um, so, better chest. And what I can do now is I can just pull this out, put it here. So there's the head. Diggity. And this I need to do with paper. Oh, that's right. I can't do it in this. I have to make it in. It's a stencil table, I thought. See if I can do no. Nope. So it's gotta be these. Duh. I guess I need one more. Darn it. Okay. So let's put you back. Let me at least make you. Oh, and I forgot sticks. I need two sticks. I do one of those. Oh, I really didn't want to have to break down that. So let's go over here. Use the cheap tools that we have. Plenty of sheep, that's good. And like this. Some more wood. What I'd like to is that you can always have uh, sticks drop too as well. They don't always happen, but I've noticed they happen quite a bit. Rubber wood. So maybe not on these particular trees, you won't have sticks, but it happens. I've seen it. <laughs> maybe it just happens on oak. So let's go back over here. All right. And we'll turn. There it is. We'll turn the rubber wood. Wait, so rubber wood. Okay, fine. Be that way. What I'll do is I'll turn those into sticks. Actually, no, I will not do that. So let's do this. I think now. I get so I'm so used to using shift to run, not control. If you couldn't tell. So let's get 
three of those for three different tools because i'm gonna make a pick i will make a shovel and then an axe and i get more paper and i'll show you why paper is actually really important on this particular thing um so when you look at when you go into the book and you get the materials on you and you look at the book here for materials when you use paper paper actually gives an extra um really nice extra perk um where is paper and paper so the extra part will actually give you an extra modifier which is nice because what you can do is you can make a stone head a wood handle a paper binding when you make the tool as you progress you can actually when you find a diamond you can add a diamond to it which then gives you more durability but it also gives you the diamond rank of mining ability too as well um, so in that way when you go into your part bench and you actually when you go into your tool bench you can put your tool here leave some um cobblestone here and then you can repair it with cobblestone but still be able to mine at diamond level so it's really nice uh, aluminum ore which is not what i wanted uh yeah okay so let's do this i thought i was mining iron because i'm a goofball oh that's what i'll do i'll make a boat if i remember correctly i really hate this auto jump here but i'm too lazy to turn it off i think it's yeah there we go like that and it's too bad that you can't like have a boat that has little torch holders on it so that way you can you know see where we're going with the, the boat and have a bigger limited illuminated area um let's see i think i saw some over here let's check this out yeah, there we go. I always hate boats because they don't always let me get out. I seem to have that issue every once in a while. There we go. Perfect. And now we just go back over here. And yeah, I should probably put some torches down to around this area over here so people can see a little bit better. It's a little dark, but whatever. Nothing's perfect, right? So go over here like this. There we go. And I'll leave that there, just in case I want to use the boat to go find my new uh, spawning area here. Oh. I think I can. I I think I can. Here, here. There we go. So now what we do is go back over. Oh, I got a table over here I can use. So let's see here. Now what we do, um, pet builder, binding, yes, um, let's see here, one, two, three, okay, now go here, so choose your tool, put in the rod, put in the bindings, and I'll show you why. Now I can just throw these bad boys away or toss them in lava or whatever. Now what I need to do is get the axe head out of cobblestone and the shovel out of cobblestone. And then like I said, this way what I can do is when I come in here, shovel these will actually be repairable now with just cobblestone i'll show you and of course if you're watching this you probably have already played this so you're familiar with how this is but just in case you've not played it like me or 
newer to mod packs like this. Um, here's some fun things you can do. So, um, let's make let's make some extra sticks here, and I'm gonna go mining for more coal because I like to have extra torches. And you'll find that with me, especially, I like to make a lot of torches. <laughs> I, uh, I prefer being able to see what I'm doing and not be in the dark. <laughs> and this, uh, is definitely dark through here. So let's break that up here. I'll drop you right there. There. And I think there's some more coal over here, as a matter of fact. Where are you? Maybe you already got it, but I thought there was some more. No? Appetite ore. Um, let's see here. I'm not really seeing anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So. Hmm. Okay, so let's do this. I think there was some on that island. So let's go over there, and then when it gets to be daylight, hopefully I'll already be set with enough coal to where I can actually, um, that's not what I want to do, but we'll do it anyways. Okay, let's see here. There's some right there, as a matter of fact. course, when you mine and when you're standing in water, you get fatigued. But if you mine while you're out of water, you don't. Actually, what I should do is I'll drop this dirt. Ooh. Okay. I need some light. There's some light. No. Dirt there. That's not what I wanted to do. Can I not put dirt? That's what I thought. Okay, that was kind of awkward, but whatever. Barely see it, but whatever. Okay, now let's go get our stuff. I think I can, I think I can. Yeah, there we go. All right, now let's see what else is on this island here. I know there's more coal, coal charcoal, coal, whatever. It's the same thing. And that's aluminum. I thought I saw iron on this island. I know there's copper. And I probably shouldn't have to really worry about iron too much right now, because if I can start digging a cavern, find a base, start digging a cavern, um, and find diamonds, then at that point, I can actually do the upgrade and go from there. But, I'm out of torches. See what I was saying? I love the fact that I can use a torch in one hand and a tool in the other. What's really nice too about Tink Tinker's Construct is that you can actually use two of their tools in both hands. So, now you may be able to do this with other ones too, but you can, when you come up, you can actually use the one and then use the other when you are on something else there. So it's actually really kind of cool, but I like having my torch in my hand, so. Oh, and there's a temple right there. Oh, no, it's the sun. Wow. <laughs> I was like, there's a faint glow. Oh, there's a temple. Oh, wait, no, that's the sun. Never mind. So let's get some more charcoal here. Really, pig? I will end you for your bacon. Speaking of which, I wonder if there's a mod that does bacon. 
I don't know why they didn't do that originally in the game. I think it was Notch was the original creator of Minecraft, or one of the mean people. Let's see here. Man, when I find something like this, I like to make sure that I mine it all out, because I hate leaving stuff behind. I think one of my goals, too, for where I'm going to put up uh, my own little personal base, where I'm going to have all my farms and everything, because I plan on doing... So one, things that I, one of the things that I want to do is I want to... Um, I want to look up how to do certain uh, farms, like creeper farms, uh, you know, ghast farms. I, I really want to get into those, and I want to see... Um, you know, gas tears, uh, oops, skeleton farm, all that fun stuff. I really want to get into all of it. I forget that I don't want to turn my mouse when I'm doing this. Let's park up right here on the sand, huh? Shall we? Now, one of the nice things, though, is even though you have to use sand, grout, or I'm sorry, sand, gravel, and clay to make grout in order to get the, um, I really need to see about making this better when I get some better tools. Um, when you start doing the Tinker's Construct Forge, um, after you've gotten a forge put together, you can actually just drop cobblestone in there and then just go from there. Um, see, now what's, what's really nice, though, is that after doing this, and let's see here, you go in here. Let's say you put your resource there. Sorry, my daughter in the background here. Put your tool in here, and then it'll actually just repair it with the cobblestone. Um, which I probably should have waited longer before I did that, but I just kind of wanted to show that. So, actually, I'm going to go, go farm a little, and there's the charcoal I was talking about. So, I'll do this. You know, I know I've spent about the first 25 minutes or so of this video just pretty much going over the basic stuff that I've learned. Um, I know it's probably a waste to a lot of other people, um, but with this, I'm trying to do this so I can get more comfortable with recording for YouTube, um, possibly even get back into streaming to Twitch, because I did use this to stream Twitch quite a bit. Um, as a matter of fact, I started at the beginning of 2016. But then I ended up stopping in the middle of 2016. Uh, my wife had actually broken her leg in two places. And so I, I needed to stop so I could, you know, help around the house more. Because she couldn't walk or do anything. So, but of course, things have gotten better. It's no longer an issue. Um, and uh, go from there. So hopefully I'll be get back on a schedule. My daughter's four now. Uh, so she's actually in a uh, schooling program. And so she'll be going to school from seven to three and uh yeah so let's see we've got the cobble so put that in here go there i don't know why my axe did that and so from this point i actually think this will really be it for the first video in the next video i will uh get some more resources pulled together i'll probably go get a couple sheep get their I'll get them sheared. I don't think I'll make any shears, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll claim the, the wool another way <laughs> and uh, make a bed and then start on a little, ver a little uh, journey here to kind of venture out and see what I can find and go from there. Thanks for stopping by the video, guys. Uh, if you would, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment. Um, again, I'll have my Discord information in the description of the video. And uh, if you guys want to join the community, if you want to jump on the server and, and play on this fresh new server, I would be more than happy to have some folks come by. Um, eventually, when we start getting more people on the server, if folks want to do something like um, a Patreon and go with a hosted server, I would love to do that and actually make a, a larger availability. And then once I have that larger availability done, then we can go from there and we can actually uh, have a bigger community going. So I will see you guys all in the next video.